Hello everyone, Information Box Ticket Lifestyles brings you today Microbiology topic on Bacillus thuringiensis Bt isolation from soil But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. Let's dive into the table of content. First, you will know Bacillus thuringiensis, then its isolation principle and the procedure to isolate it and lastly the expected results. Let's dive into the introduction of Bacillus thuringiensis. It is a gram-positive sporulating bacterium that produces insecticidal proteins with broad insect specificity during sporulation, cry and cyst, and vegetative growth, whip and sip. Bt has been marketed as an environmentally beneficial alternative to chemical pesticides by these proteins. Let's see the Bacillus thuringiensis isolation principle. A thermal shock treatment followed by selective germination of spore is a widely utilized approach for isolating Bt from soil. Thermal shock is used to destroy any bacterium from the sample soil that are incapable of forming endospores. The samples are then diluted numerous times to remove the humic substances from the soil and lower the overall colony forming units in the sample. The diluted samples are then cultivated on nutrient agar to allow the spores to germinate on medium rich in nutrients and at an ideal temperature. The medium promotes the development of a wide variety of microorganisms including Bacillus thuringiensis. A series of assays are then used to isolate Bacillus thuringiensis from the diverse bacteria present in the crude soil sample population. Sodium acetate selection test, gram staining, amino black and xyl carbyl fusion staining, endospore staining, catalyst test, testing for growth above 45 degrees Celsius and examining for the presence of parasporal bodies are all common essential tests. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now let's see the procedure of the isolation of Bacillus thuringiensis. With the help of this diagram you will understand the procedure. After removing the top 2 to 3 cm of soil, collect around 20 grams of cultivated or non-cultivated soil sample with a tubular soil sampler. Place samples in 50 ml sterile centrifuge tubes or Ziploc bags at 4 degrees Celsius until isolated. Soil samples of 1 grams are suspended in 10 ml 0.85% NaCl. Then for 10 minutes, heat with shaking at 70 degrees Celsius. 100 microliter aliquots of suspensions were placed on nutrient agar, 0.5% peptone, 0.3% beef extract, 0.5% NaCl and 1.5% agar. Then petri plate should be incubated at 30 degrees Celsius or 37 degrees Celsius for 48 hours. Incubate bacterial clones displaying a Bt-like phenotypes that has been subcultured on new plates. For primarily identification, stain the culture with amino black and zeal carbon fusion and examine it under a conventional light microscope. Now let's head to the Bacillus thuringiensis isolation expected results. Clonies are often matte, white in color, flat, dry and with regular boundaries. Cultures with parasporal crystals colored black on microscope examination may be important and should be saved. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much.